Hey everyone, Super Shaggs Boom here, and Sonic the Hedgehog is officially 30 years old. I've pretty much been a Sonic fan for my entire life. Sonic came out about 12 years before I was born. I spent 3 years being a baby, and 1 year not knowing what a Sonic was. Meaning, I've been loving this needly mouse for 13 years. So I just want to take some time on this oh-so-special day to reflect and tell y'all how Sonic rolled into my life, and how I became a dedicated Sonic fan. I'm not going to be covering every extent of my Sonic the Hedgehog history, just the early years and introduction to the character in games. Pretty much everything before the year 2010. There were three main things that got me into Sonic. Animations, AMVs, and Flash games. Mainly just Ultimate Sonic Flash. Our story begins in 2008. I don't specifically remember when in 2008, just at some point that year. I've been playing video games for at least a year at this point. I vaguely remember having some video game magazines and I recall seeing Mario hanging out with some blue guy and I was just infatuated. He looked so cool and if he was doing sports stuff with Mario, he must be cool. The image that stuck out to me the most was this render of Sonic holding a sword with a metal glove man it was so awesome and at the time i loved spending time on our computer watching mario videos like the mario power tennis bloopers and i eventually stumbled across the intro for mario and sonic at the olympic games this was technically the first sonic animation i saw then i discovered sonic smarties a stop motion series from 2008 made by retro dynamics i absolutely loved these videos as a kid I swear the series is good. From what I've gathered, I believe the plot is about Big taking a crap in some Chaos Emerald machine and it teleports Sonic and his friends to some random table. Stuff happens like ear rape, Amy being evil, and other stuff. The series really picks up when they get better mics and upgrade to the Toy Island figures. Episode 3 and 4 being especially incredible with the quality and mouth animations, those two are what I'd recommend the most. Unfortunately, the series left on a cliffhanger and it's been like 10 years since episode 4 came out. Besides that, thank you for the happy memory. Memory Sonic Smarties. My childhood favorites were their Q&A video and Unleashed video. Okay, I gotta mention Sonic Toes. This guy is a legend. I discovered his channel from his first Sonic figure collection video, which is just iconic at this point. He's been doing stop motion since 2006. Holy crap. But I was mainly in love with the new Sonic the Hedgehog show, as well as the Sonic and Mario series, and Sonic the Hedgehog without a job. I was mainly into stop motion as a kid. For hand-drawn stuff, I liked Sonic Shorts. I mainly grew up with the first four volumes. But amongst them all was the legendary Nazo Unleashed, centering around a villain based off of some Sonic X concepts. This series was just amazing, man. The action, the voice clips, the animation, and Tails dying, I love it so much. I saw this during my Sonic fan infancy and way before I got into Dragon Ball. Everything about this still hits me to this day. Some could say it's old and shitty, but I don't care. The passion that went into this project is inspirational and means so much to a lot of people, including myself. Whenever the heck Wrath of Nazo comes out, Chakra X, take as much time as you need, man. I don't care if I have grandkids by the time it's done, I know it's 100% gonna be worth it. Okay, let's talk about games, the most important part about this franchise. I mainly grew up with a Nintendo 64, which, you know, didn't have any Sonic games on it. Despite that, for some reason, I have vivid memories about a dream I had playing an N64 Sonic game. It was a 2.5D game, and the cartridge was orange for some reason. Anyways, the first game I played that was real and had Sonic in it was Ultimate Sonic Flash. Replaying it recently with just two zones, it's still a pretty fun little romp. I honestly didn't know how in-depth this game went as a kid, I just played it as Sonic for a bit, then moved on with life. I legit had no clue about the unlockable characters and cheats. I had fun doing so, and if you want to do the same for yourself, you just gotta go to the new grounds. Now onto official games. It was Christmas 2008 where I got an Xbox, the original Xbox. Then a couple days afterwards, my mom took my brother and I to GameStop and we got SSX Tricky, amazing game by the way. And I got Sonic Heroes. This game is awesome. I loved it as a kid. I never beat it though. Honestly, despite this being my first Sonic game, I have like no nostalgia for it for some reason. It's still a great game though, don't get me wrong. I feel this game had a perfect tone as well. It was fun and dumb while at the same time not being for newborns. I grew up with the Xbox version, but I don't have it anymore. I have the GameCube version now, but I have yet to play it. Maybe someday in the future I'll give Heroes another shot. Okay, the last game I played during this era was the highly beloved Sonic Unleashed. The demo for it on Xbox 360. Chris Boris told me to. Speed, speed, and more speed. 
Oh hell yeah! Windmill Isle Act 2 is incredible and how could I not love the intro cutscene to this game? And that's pretty much all I've experienced with Unleashed, the HD version that is. Unleashed is a story for another day. So that was my Sonic story, it was pretty cool to reflect on my early experiences from the first two years when I was first getting into Sonic. And I'm looking forward to the rest of my life with Sonic the Hedgehog. I didn't mean that in a weird way, I just meant that as I'm still probably going to be a Sonic fan for a long time. So if you enjoyed the video be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and what are the reasons you love Sonic the Hedgehog, or how did you get into Sonic in the first place? I'd love to know. Bye. Thanks for watching. Now prepare yourself, Hedgehog, because I'm about to destroy your reputation. Wait, what? I'm a little robot. Yeah, I'm a little robot. Because I love to sing and Dance and play all day. Yeah, who's a little robot? I'm a little robot. Who's a little robot? I'm a little. Cause I love to sing and dance in a very silly.